one of the most successful warrior pharaohs of ancient Egypt, Thutmose III's empire stretched from Iraq to Sudan. Thutmose III, also known as Thutmosis or Tuthmosis, was arguably one of the greatest military kings that ever ruled Egypt. He engaged relentlessly in military campaigns abroad, not only, although mostly in Western Asia, but also in Nubia. His campaign yielded slaves, booty and even tribute over the long run. In this video, we will uncover some surprising facts about the Egyptian pharaoh Thutmose III. Thutmose III started his career under the thumb of his stepmother. Thutmose III's father, Thutmose II, passed away when he was still a toddler, leaving him to be raised by his mother. He said, Hatshepsut, Thutmose II's wife and half-sister, decided to step in officially as a regent for Thutmose III, as a two-year-old cannot reign a country all on his own. Despite being a regent, Hatshepsut reigned as an Egyptian pharaoh and even had herself depicted in the royal regalia. Their joint rule lasted 22 years, and during his late reign, Thutmose III had nearly all evidence of Hatshepsut's reign destroyed. Her statues were torn down, her monuments were defaced, and her name was removed from the official king list. It is unknown why Thutmose III erased proof of her legacy, and for a long time, Egyptologists thought this indicated that he had resented her joint rule, despite this destruction taking place 25 years after her death. Now, many researchers think that it was intended to make way for his joint reign with his son, Amenhotep II. Thutmose III killed 120 elephants in Syria. Elephants still roamed Syria during the Egyptian New Kingdom. While near the town of Nai in northern Syria, Thutmose III came across a large herd of them. The god Ra allegedly gave him the power to slaughter them for their ivory. His feat was so extraordinary that he said there was no boasting or lies in his claim. However, while his annals implied the king acted single-handedly, his general, Amenemhab, gave a different version of events in his tomb inscriptions. According to him, he helped the king achieve this feat. Amenemhab said he cut off the largest bull elephant's trunk, which he called its hand, when the elephant came face to face with the pharaoh. The king rewarded him with gold and new clothes for his help. The elephants of Syria eventually became extinct as their ivory continued to be in high demand. The Aramaeans especially were fond of carving ivory into inlays for furniture. These often had Egyptian-influenced motifs. Tutmosis' tomb in the Valley of the Kings is uniquely decorated. Most of the royal tombs in the Valley of the Kings are colorfully decorated. Thutmose III chose to have his tomb decorated in a singularly stark style. The tomb is cut high in the cliff walls, and today has to be reached by a long metal staircase. The burial chamber is oval-shaped, similar to the royal cartouche used to enclosure the king's name. The artists painted the walls with an off-white background that imitates the appearance of papyrus and the text and figures on the wall are written in a cursive form of hieroglyphs normally reserved for papyrus. Thutmose III had his own virtual zoo and botanical garden. Egyptian artists faithfully reproduced the natural world around them. When Thutmose III and his army campaigned in Syria, they encountered many animals and plants that did not exist in Egypt. His artists made a careful record of what they saw, or perhaps brought back specimens with them to Egypt. When he returned to Egypt, they produced a unique tableau in his temple at Karnak, called the Akmenu. Relief carvings of the animals and plants encountered in Western Asia decorate the walls of his chamber. Some have been identified as plants and animals known today, while others still remain unknown. Thutmose III preserved a record of these plants and animals on the walls of his temple for posterity. At the same time, he had his soldiers chop down the orchard and destroy the wheat harvests of his defeated enemies. Thutmose III taxed his citizens heavily. 
Thutmose III did not limit himself to collecting tribute from the vassals in Western Asia and Nubia, but the Egyptians as well. Taxes were paid in kind, and his vizier, the ancient equivalent of a prime minister, Rekmira oversaw the process. Rekmira faithfully depicted the duties he was entrusted within his tomb. Among these, the collection of taxes. Traditionally, taxes were paid in grain, with tax collectors extracting what was due with the whip of a stick if necessary. Cattle, honey, fruit, turtle doves, mats and linen fabric were also collected. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching our list of surprising facts about the Egyptian pharaoh Thutmose III. We hope you enjoyed it. What related topic would you like us to cover next? Do leave a comment down below. We'd love to know. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.